hello welcome back so in this tutorial we are going to be designing the spring the rivet and the nameplate those are easy parts so um, we're just gonna do all three parts in this one video so start a new part file so we are going to start with the um, spring so on the top plane sketch and draw a diameter circle circle and the diameter is going to be 1.04 and exit your sketch and come to feature and under the feature tab you will come down to the curves and you click the helix and it will be going down and we want this um, options which is height and revolution constant pitch the height is 1.732 revolution is 3 and the start angle is 0 so once you have that click OK good so now come to the right plane and sketch and number 2 and we're just going to draw a circle over here and the diameter for that circle is going to be 0 0.06 and click that point of that circle and click your helix and pierce it so you should put it over there and we are uh, where did it go there you go so now all we need to do is go to feature sweep our circular um, sketch and our helix so the first one is your sketch the second one is your helix and click OK and we are done with this spring. The only thing I'm just gonna hide that helix. Um, we don't need it. So the only thing I'll do now is just sh uh, shave off this top part and this bottom part to make it flat, so that way we can have something to mate it to. So uh, I click on the top plane. Um, actually, we only need to just do with that one part, or, or we'll do both. So, so I, while I'm in the top plane remember that's the top plane because we extruded it down so sketch on the top plane and just go um, sketch and number two so I will just draw a four point rectangle a corner rectangle something like that and make it equal to each other the lines and then this is just going to be uh, 1.45 is good as long as it's sticking out so we want something like that so I just go to feature extrude cut and in the other direction and I just to true all so just to shave that top part off so see what I mean just to so have that flat part over there and I'll do the same thing at the bottom um, I'll do that sketch on the right plane though so I don't have to make any other plane so on the right plane uh, sketch number two and I'll go number two again so I click this convert entity and I'll make that face a construction line so all I need to do now is just draw like my uh, I can just use a line I'll just draw uh, something like this for now I click this line and that point make it coincident and I just drag this out so it's sticking part out past it so I then add a dimension over here point um, 2 is good again it's just something that's sticking out and I'll add another dimension from here to here uh, point 1.2 is good and I'll just fully define it down here is uh, 1.9 so we have that dimension is fully defined and again feature extrude cut and I'll just do true all on both ends and click OK so again it's just to shape up that bottom so we have something to mate it to um, then this is done save it as spring and we're moving on to the next part so start a new part file inch 
and on the front plane sketch number two and we are just going to draw a line coming down and draw another line something like this um, draw a three-point arc so click a three-point arc click that point this or on the origin point click that come somewhere over here click again and drag it out and click so now make the center point of that arc and this line coincident and draw a line that is vertical horizontal and match those two points together so you want something like this so now that we have that we're just going to add our dimension and this is going to be 0 0.09 and this is going to be um, 0.24 and the bottom is going to be um, I'll make this a construction line so I can add my diameter so the bottom is going to be 0 0.087 and um, so we need oh, okay so the ne next thing we need to do is click this point and your center point for the arc and it needs to be horizontal to each other so that should uh, make everything fully defined and we'll close this off and feature revolve and revolve that and the next thing we need to do is just add a chamfer down here our chamfer size is going to be 0.008 click OK and save this part as rivet and we are done with it save it as rivet and the next part is um, we need to make the nameplate so start a new part file inch and click OK on the top plane uh, sketch and we are just going to draw like two circles one big one and one small one and the first one the diameter is going to be 1.750 and the, seven, the second diameter is going to be 0 .07, 0 0.087 excuse me so um, let me change my unit so you can see it So now all we need to do is just extrude it. Extrude. Um, it doesn't matter which way you extrude it. So I just extrude it down and it's going to be um, 0 0.025. And click OK. And save this part as nameplate. So we are done. So we have three parts. Uh, we created the, the spring. Uh, we created the rivet and we also created the, the nameplates. So we'll save all three parts and in the next video we are going to put everything together in an assembly. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.